So in this video, we are going to cover screencasting in Linux. Um, we're actually in Ubuntu 17. Um, things have changed quite a bit since the last time I did a video on, on the Linux screencasting. I normally use a um, Apple MacBook Pro running ScreenFlow, um, which to be totally honest is the best uh, screencasting platform that you're going to find. Uh, screen ScreenFlow is a, a really awesome application. Uh, I normally, when I'm doing my Linux uh, uh, videos, I'm I usually do them in a virtual machine on the the MacBook. But in this case, I actually wanted to try another hand at doing uh, a screencast here on Linux using Linux software. So. What I'm going to do in this video is we're going to go through how I have the operating system set up, what I've done to the computer to actually hopefully uh, capture a screencast that, that everyone can watch um, and, and actually looks halfway professional. Now the downside to Linux is not necessarily the capture of the screencast, it's more the post-editing. And so some of the setup that I've done on this uh, computer, and this happens to be a, an HP Spectre 360, um, the, which has a really nice, big, clear disp display, but that actually ends up becoming a problem on Linux. Now, on, on my Apple computer, I'm actually, through ScreenFlow, I can actually capture the entire desktop and then zoom in on just the areas of the desktop that I want to present at that particular point. In Linux, it's not so easy. You're, you're really capturing either an application or you're going to capture the entire desktop. But then the post-edit, you actually have to open everything up in a completely different program like Caden Live. And then you've got a whole nother thing to learn. You've got a whole lot of uh, steps involved in, in moving the screen around and doing the stuff that you're trying to do. And, and then when you're done and you export the, the presentation, it ends up not being as good a quality as the original recording. So what I've done and the, and the direction that I've taken here is I've actually gone in here and we have started with modifying the, the computer. So the first thing is I, I went into displays and I've actually changed my display over to a 1920 by 1080, which is a 1080 resolution uh, video. So you got that wide uh, cinematic uh, view. The, the problem is, is this is, you know, a lot smaller display uh, DPI wise than what I'm used to. So I'm, I've kind of scrunched everything down into a, into a little bit smaller display in order to do a video. So once I've done the screencast, I'll end up changing everything back over to the full display resolution. Um, the other thing to note is Ubuntu has uh, a bit of a bug in it, uh, at least with the Unity desktop. We're, again, we're running Ubuntu 17 whatever, and I'm using the Unity desktop. And the problem with it is that once you display, once you change the resolution over to this 1920 by 1080, the, the menus and stuff don't present correctly. So what you end up having to do is you actually have to uh, log out of the environment. So you actually come over here and tell it to, uh, log out. And then once you get logged out, you can log right back in and everything should, uh, display properly. So, uh, if you, if things look a little funny, just log out and log back in and, and the desktop, when it restarts, will fix all of the resolution problems. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about for a minute is this unity tweak tool. Um, this really is a requirement um, if you're wanting to zoom the screen in or do anything like that because in in Linux, when we're doing this, this screen presentation, we really want to try to present everything the way we want the final video to look um, because of the problem with trying to do the post-editing. So what we're going to do on top of having the, the, uh, screen, the screen real estate changed over to a different resolution, um, we're going to load this Unity Tweak tool. Now you can get this from the applications uh, bar. So if you come down here to the Ubuntu Software Center and just search for the Unity Tweak tool, you can install it pretty easily. Now when you open this program, 
there's a number of options in here and we're only going to cover a couple. So I'm not trying to give you a tutorial on, on this particular program. But the first thing that I want to do is I want to change the launcher. Um, the reason is because, and I'll, I'll actually show you the, the problem here. I have moved this control over to the far left hand side of the screen. But let's pretend that I want to zoom up on this area of the screen here to present something to, to make sure that the user can actually see it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on this particular area. Well, you'll notice that in order to see the far left hand side of the screen, I've got to push the mouse all the way to the edge. So if I were to come up here and turn this auto hide off and then come down here and tell the thing to show on the left, you can see that when I push this to the far left, I've got a menu over the top of my control. So it doesn't really look very good. Now, the other thing that I could do is I could come up here and tell it to auto hide. But again, in order to see the edge of the menu, I've got to push my mouse over, which causes the menu to open up while I'm trying to do my presentation. And so what I have done is I've turned auto hide on, but then I've come down here to the bottom and told it to display at the bottom of the screen instead of the, the left. Now there's some options in here that I don't really understand what they're for. The reveal location, um, I'm not really clear on it um, because it does, I, I just don't know how it, it comes into play when you're displaying things at the bottom and how this says left side and top left corner. Um, and when I select the top left corner, I don't even know what that does because it didn't seem to, to really work at all. So the, there are a few little uh, buggy things in here that are a little odd. Now, another thing is if you're zoomed in and you try to access a slide, uh, a drop down list, if you watch the cursor, I'm going to click and you'll notice the cursor actually moved and my drop list didn't open. So now you can get in a situation it get, if you get it perfect, you can make it actually open up, but it's rather diff difficult. So like there, I got on the left side of the box so that when it scrolls out, it ends up not closing the box and then I can come back to it to, to get to it. Now, you'll also notice that while I'm over here on the left side of the screen, things are, are kind of off the screen and that's not really the presentation that I want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the alt key. I'm going to click anywhere out here in this gray area and I'm going to drag this control to get it over here where I want it. So now when I'm pointing at things, the, the control stays in the screen uh, real estate that, that we're actually looking at. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to zoom back out. And the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back over here to our overview and we're going to go to the additional sections down, down here beside hot corners. And right here on general, on the general tab at the top, this is where you set your zoom in and zoom out keys. So without doing this, you're not going to be able to zoom in and out on the screen like I just did. And so right now I've got mine set to the control shift Z and control shift A uh, keys that actually control the, my zoom in and out. And so this gives me that capability. So using this particular, uh, control that you can again, download, uh, from the app center, uh, you've got some, some pretty good control over the way Ubuntu, uh, the, the unity, uh, system acts. Um, and so, and there's, there's probably a, a, some other uh, options in here that you might want to look at as well, but those were the, the couple that I made the changes for. Now, the other thing that I ended up having to do, and, and this is, brings us to the most important part of this entire video is what software am I actually using? Now I've tried a number of them, but I have to say the one that impresses me the most is OBS. Um, OBS is actually uh, a really cool program. I have had no problems with it at all for a Linux application is it's very impressive. Um, the, the one thing that, that is also really cool is you can actually stream video and do a podcast or do a, a screencast and have it, uh, be like a TV channel on, uh, you know, on the internet. So you can go over to a, a system to actually, uh, have people watch. Um, now what I'm going to do in here is I want to show you a couple things that I, that I've had to tweak to get things working correctly. So we're going to go to settings 
And the first thing I want to do is I want to go down here to the video stream and you'll notice that I've actually changed the, the base and the output resolution to the same as my desktop. That way I don't have anything shrinking up. If you get these in different aspect ratios, it will actually scrunch the video to make it fit that output resolution scale. So it, it's, I, I've had a, you know, I've played around with it a little bit, but the screen resolution on this computer happens to be at a resolution that, that isn't easily scalable uh, down to the, the other uh, output sizes. So I just opted to kind of go ahead and change the screen size and then change this to match it. Uh, and it, it seems to be working really well. You can be the judge uh, when you're watching the video. Um, the other thing is in the hotkey section, I added some hotkeys to start and stop the video. That allows me to start and stop the video without having this program be the first thing that you see. Again, allowing me to do a really professional screencasting and make it look like I edited the video, but I really didn't edit it at all. Um, so in the end, if, you know, if I could get comfortable with this flow and, and get good at, at changing the size and moving things around, I might actually be able to produce videos faster using Linux than I am using ScreenFlow because I don't actually have to do any post editing at all. Um, again, you know, there's a lot of other things that ScreenFlow does that this application doesn't have the capability of doing, but uh, you know, it, it to each his own. So the other thing that I want to point out, um, if we go over here to audio, um, and, and there is one thing, there's tons of videos out there on how to set all of these options that you have here. So there, there really is, there's no point in me going through it again, because there's just, there's a lot of videos out there that get in a lot more detail than I'm going to get into. The, the other thing, uh, here is the output. Um, this is where you actually select the, the folder that you want to put the videos when they're done and then your recording quality and what type of video you want to actually create. So these are the, the options that I prefer, again, because this is what I use over in the screen flow. Um, but you can set these any way you want. You can experiment with them, uh, you know, do whatever makes you happy. But at the end of the day, the, uh, the, the program that we're using here, the, the OBS software, does a really, really good job on capturing, pretty much you can capture video off of a video camera, you can capture your audio off of a mic like I'm doing here with the Shure mic, um, or you know any number of other input uh, devices that you want to use to capture the, the audio and video from those into this application. Um, and again, you ought to play around with the, the streaming because that's a really cool uh, process as well. So hopefully that has gotten you at least started in the screencasting in Linux. And I have to say, um, I, I'm very impressed with this. I, I, I've started this project just to kind of do a recap on what I, on a video that I had done a few years ago on screencasting on Linux, but it has really come a long way uh, toward actually being something that, that I might actually do more of.